Hello Planet Watchers, here we go again after two weeks. Now today, as I anticipate, it's going to be a bit thick. I have lots of announcements to make and I think it's mostly good news for everybody. So let's start right away. So as many of you probably know, I spent last week in Miami, in the United States. and It was a very, very productive trip. Very useful. I had talks with uh, potential investors, local government officials, and also representatives of an African government. And these are all very interesting things. So, as I anticipated, a number of doors are opening for Plan and Watch. I'll keep you posted, but as I mentioned, patience is key. So, that's all for now regarding these opportunities. So next, I'd like to remind everybody that as of this week, uh, planets are also listed on Emirex. Now, Emirex is not a very large platform. However, it's interesting because it gives us strong exposure to the Middle East region. And we like to be as global as possible. Also, you might have noticed that on that platform, you can now trade planets against USDT as well as against Ether. So that's, uh, that's a new development, which is uh, interesting for the community. Now, what next? Let's talk about Type 4 licenses. As I said several times, we are trying to address all issues in the best possible way. What I can share today is addressed as those who have currently a Type 4 device which they bought before the Type 4 licenses sales got posted. So, who, so license, um, they bought a device before or on January 27, 2022, but have no license. Now, what, what we can do is that on March 14, we'll disclose a step-by-step -step procedure for these people to obtain Type 4 licenses. This cannot be done earlier for a number of technical points. But on March 14, we'll give you a process to get the licenses that you that you are waiting for. Once this issue is sorted out, we will look into the broader perspective of Type 4 licensing uh, context with a view to reopen general license sales when this is appropriate. So we're still working on it. The news is that we have a solution for uh, people who have the device which they bought before the deadline for our license sales and need the license, but we need uh, we need to do things properly at the right time. Okay, what next? This is going to be exciting, I believe, for many people. Some of you will probably not understand what I'm talking about because it's a bit crypto technical, but I'm sure that people will be making videos to better explain how this works. Um, people who are already crypto enthusiasts will be quite interested. Now, we, have a, we are creating two staking plans thanks to a partnership with Algo Stake. Now, the first plan going live as of today is a program that enables you to earn extra planets if you supply liquidity to the planet's Algo pool on Tinyman. Now, we decided to launch this program in order to thank and encourage those who are helping making it easier to acquire planets for those who don't have access to centralized exchanges. For example, residents of the state of New York, they cannot access the, exchange, the centralized exchanges where we are listed at the moment. So these people are rendering a service to the community because by supplying liquidity to this pool on Tinyman, they are making it easier for everybody and in particular for some categories of people to to acquire planets, so they deserve some rewards. Now, the details of this will go out in a tweet, and uh, I think it will be quite interesting for people who are in the know of this. Uh, this is going live today, probably as I'm speaking now. Okay. Now we have another staking plan, which is related to what I announced. Uh, several weeks ago, what we call a Stake for the Planet initiative. This is going live later this month. And again, it's a partnership with Algo Stake. Details will follow. But as you know, the idea is that if you stake Planet's tokens, you earn uh, 
a special type of reward which can be transformed into trees that will be planted in the Planet Watch forest. So this is, let, let me say, really non-profit, but it's, uh, it's very much in the spirit of uh, what we want to achieve with Planet Watch. Okay. Now, what next? That's also, I think, quite important to me. And I'll tell you what, what this is all about. As, as it is mentioned in white paper, whenever we sell data services, this triggers some planets flows based on the following rule. 40% of the planet's revenue will be added to the re relevant recycled bin, depending on the type of sensors generating the data that we are selling. Another 40% goes to the owners of the actual sensors generating the data being sold, and 20% goes to Planet Watch. Now, as you know, as I said several times, data sales are not yet substantial. However, there are some sales related to indoor projects, and we are now in the phase of reviewing and, and completing 2021 company accounts. So by reviewing the accounts, we, we realize that data sales generated in the past from type three devices allow us to add 57,000 planets to the type three recycled bin. So admittedly, amounts are quite small. But I believe this is an important milestone to show you that we are executing our strategy according to our business model and to the white paper. And uh, in the future, the Planet Watch Explorer will display the amount of planets added from data cells to each recycle bin. So for people who, are, uh, like, who like to explore the blockchain, there will soon be a blockchain transaction putting 57,000 planets into the Type 3 recycle bin, which will prove, and again, uh, timestamp what I just announced. The, la the next thing is less exciting, but we need to go through this technical step. So several weeks ago, we said that we needed to merge accounts. And we, we said we would set a deadline. So now the time has come. So effective Friday, March the 4th, 6 p.m. CT, you should not use any more. You should just use one account to purchase your licenses. If you try to use more than one account, accounts will no longer be merged and purchases will just be refunded. So one person, one account. That's the rule. And it comes into full force as of Friday, March 4th, 6 p.m. CET. Okay, these were the announcements. And then, as usual, we have a few questions to, to answer. First question, will the new Type 2 sensor measure temperature and humidity? Do you plan to have Planet Watch approved sensors which measure wind speed, direction or air pressure? Okay, so generally speaking, uh, all air quality monitors also measure temperature and humidity. So the answer to the first question is yes. Uh, and we provide more details on the new Type 2 sensors as we get closer to their launch. Uh, however, we're talking about sensors which measures uh, PM 2.5 temperature and humidity. It doesn't measure other quantities. So over time, we might introduce additional measures. But for the time being, let's say these sensors are not a, a weather station. So again, over time, there is a lot of scope for additional measurements and additional planet watch use cases, if you will. But uh, this is coming gradually over time. Why won't the batch info keep being updated every two weeks? Okay, fair enough. So, as you know, hardware availability is limited worldwide, which makes for a very long waiting list, which sometimes gets longer and longer because uh, some batches that we pre-order get canceled because of, uh, you name it, war, COVID. I mean, it's a very complicated situation these days. However, on one hand, we're working to very hard to secure additional sense of stock for upcoming batches. And uh, I'm very optimistic on this. On the other hand, we will soon improve the way batch info is displayed 
We make everything more transparent and we will in particular provide detailed info on your actual position in the waiting list. So I think this would be useful and uh, reassuring or at least informative to you. And I hope to be in a position to tell you all about this in the next AMA. When can we expect purchase emails for the next batch? Now, that's the general rule. Purchase emails for uh, type, one, type 1 and Type 3 census belonging to Q1 2022 batch will be sent out before the end of the month. That's the general rule at the moment. And again, this could change for the better, but that's where the way it is for now. Have you noticed an impact on air quality data since the war in Ukraine started? Now, first part of my answer is that our sensor network doesn't have enough density yet in Ukraine to detect these kind of variations. What I want to say though, on a personal note, is that we at Planet Watch want to express our sincere sympathy and solidarity to the people of Ukraine at this time, at this very difficult time. War is never the answer, and what we are witnessing right now deeply saddens me. So, let's hope for the better. Last message, which keeps coming and is very, very important. Please do not trust any rumors you hear on the internet and don't buy into scams promising you whatever lots of tokens if you send a few tokens miracles you name it be very careful what you do with your planets and who you trust so these days planet watch is getting fairly well known and there are always bad people trying to take advantage of that by pretending to be us i mean we have seen fake websites fake support groups fake twitter accounts Planet Watch support, Planet Watch community, whatever. Uh, they, are, they are very creative, I must say. Please remember, all official announcements will come from us through our official channels. Twitter, Telegram and Discord. In case of doubt, if you hear something strange, probably which sounds too good to be true, please ask our mods on Telegram or Discord for guidance in order to prevent scams and uh, unpleasant situations. Okay, so we are moving ahead. There are lots of things happening. I've disclosed today, I, th I think a few very interesting things happening now. So I hope you, you feel good about it. So I'll tell you, we will see each other again in this form in two weeks' time. Of course, if there's anything important and urgent coming up in the meantime, you'll be informed by Twitter and other mm -hmm. social media. So we are here for you. We are here for Planet Watch. Let's keep it up and let's keep watching the planet. Thank you.